What a pickled festation! Well, uh, uh, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to, how to, how to. All right. Oh, just kidding. I'll just show you. Exactly. I'll just show you in a sec. Uh, how to basically get a spirally outro for your video. Uh, like exactly like this. All right. So, um. We need Photoshop for this, uh, so you better have it. Otherwise, go. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know about GIMP, but I'm pretty sure this. I pretty much use Photoshop for everything. So as soon as you open up your Photoshop, go to File, New, and uh, when you are in, when you'll find this box opening, or uh, this open up box, the box. Now, what, make sure your width is 1280 and your height 720, and let the rest be the same don't change just make sure your width is 1280 and height is 720 and click OK and now you'll see this white box open and over here it'll say layers and you'll see this background now what you need to do is right click on it and layer from background and click OK to unlock it or just double click it doesn't matter All right now next what you need to do is you need to in this um, well toolbar you need to go to this rectangle tool as you guys can see here probably below the arrow and uh, probably build the arrow and uh, what what you need to do is draw a square or rectangle around the white thing and yeah this will uh, well for the if if this does not appear like this for you what you need to do is right click away here blending options go to gradient overlay and once you're in gradient overlay make sure it's well it'll be sort of like this it'll be something like this for you guys all right it'll be like this so as I explained earlier, what you need to right click, blending options. Uh, I'll just reset that one sec. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, do not copy what I'm doing now. I'm just resetting everything so I can show you it properly. Okay, so it'll be like this one showing your um, blending uh, in your gradient overlay. What you need to do is uh, click reverse here so it becomes white to black. Next, what you need to do is make sure the style is radial so it becomes in a circular form and make sure the scale is minimized to 10 or the lowest over here all right it make sure it's a uh, white to black you can just click reverse if it's like this just reverse it, it becomes like that and you don't want to mess around with all that so again as soon as you uh, basically draw the uh, rectangle around the white spot uh, right click onto this part not on not over here over here you need to right click right here and not here otherwise these three things will come right here and go to blending options gradient overlay make sure the gradient is white to black you can just click reverse and if it's in any other color you can probably like change it over here these to make it white and black here and do that and uh, after that you need uh, after that you need to make sure your style is radial and make sure you scale it to the minimum all right now we have this cool um thing now this is basically the midpoint where, where the uh, well this is just like a midpoint for the, for the uh, burst of uh, you know the star burst or whatever you call him so what you now you now you no longer need the layer so you go ahead and well uh, delete it if you want uh, otherwise just put it up so now once we have this just press con uh, just press control and T to align and make sure the little bit uh, I'll just align it properly. Mine wasn't so aligned. Yeah, right. It's done. Now click enter. It should be done. Okay. Uh, now what you need to do is create a new form. Uh, uh, create a new layer. Actually, now we create a new layer. Now what you need to do is go to your. Uh, all right. N n all right. Sorry. What you need to do is go to your brush tool. And make sure it's this brush and not this brush. This is the brush with the arrow thing pointing out here and not this brush. Alright, so click that and uh, go over here and it'll say it'll be like this. Make sure, scroll down, you'll find this. Alright, now, okay, now I'm going to tell you one thing. What is this called? It's called, wait, I'll tell you, it's called a star burst, okay? I'll, the download link will be put in the description. Uh, you can download it from there and all you need to do is copy it to go to your local disk C or wherever you installed your uh, Adobe Photoshop. Go to Adobe um, Photoshop presets and brushes. You need to copy it in here. As you guys can see, mine's here. Starburst. Starburst, sorry. <laughs> My bad. 
so yeah go ahead click that and uh, now align it to the center exactly center and click it voila there you go perfect ain't it so oh sorry yeah so now what you can do is you can go ahead and change the color of it like just go ahead to color overlay and uh, you can change it to whatever you want like I show you relax just choose it uh, okay that looks pretty nice and close it and click OK and now if you want to change the rays coming out you need to again go over here to this uh, thing and right click or right click again he over here don't right click here right click here blending options uh, color overlay and uh, voila there you go and you can just change it to uh, I prefer come on no I said no actually that doesn't look nice does it uh, uh, come on boy the perfect perfect that's exactly it okay and now once you're done with it just click okay now I'm gonna repeat it again uh, okay let's do it uh, so I'm just gonna control Z every oh, I can't do it can I alright fine so uh, I'm gonna delete the layer now once you are over here and you make sure color overlay is I'll just turn off color overlay so it's once you have uh, made the rectangle and make made sure you have done the gradient overlay thing what you need to do you need to create a new layer by clicking this small teeny mini thing next to the trash can over here I create a new layer for you what you need to do is now you need to download the star burst uh, brush uh, once you're done with that come to this toolbar make sure you click this to uh, this brush history brush tool or whatever with an arrow here do not click this once you click it go to this area here which says which has this drop down box search for the one which you're looking for and that's 1800 this one and now next you need to align this thing to the center of the uh, uh, the light or the midpoint and just click it once and there you go you have these things these are pretty awesome things ain't that and now if you want to change the color of this what you need to do, if you want to change the color for the background you need to click uh, well I think you need to wait one sec uh, <laughs> I completely forgot yeah if you want to change the background for this you need to click the layer right click blending options color overlay who okay this is kind of hard and uh, now you need it you can change the color however you want it uh, and click OK and yeah that's you have it now and likewise if you want to change the raise the black thing just right click here blending options color overlay and uh, you can uh, you know mess around with that and I, I want it black it looks kind of cool so this is and then what you need to do is no get out all right and right uh, you need to control s otherwise go to file uh, what is this what is this get out of my face bro get out of my face all right file sorry about that file save uh, make sure it's JPEG JPG JPEG and JPE and name it tutorial and save it and make sure it's on 12 click OK well you're done you're done with Photoshop now the next thing you need is Sony Vegas okay I'm gonna click Sony Vegas I'm gonna open it up uh, alright now my god click new uh, don't just ignore all that now what you need to do, you need to drag this into uh, Sony Vegas and put it here. Just go ahead and increase the length of it because it's too short. All right, now as you can see, this is it doesn't move. See, it's not moving. So what we need to do is, uh, you need to go to the event pan crop, video event pan crop, right click it and go to event media pan crop. Or they just click this small uh, thing over here, this thing, all right? It should open up. Now just zoom out. And make sure that these two things are ticked are activated. Just click, double click, just click them once, and it should get both of these. So the, they, it's like, oh, uh, you know, this is, you know, it. Uh, well, it uh, locks your. Uh, it's in lock for aspect ratio. So when you move it, it just goes in like one uh, direction. It doesn't go in. Well, just do that, and uh, you guys don't want to know about it. Just click it. So now what you do next is make this little bit small so we can turn it around, okay? It should be made a little bit small. This much should do. And uh, yeah, that much is perfect, all right? Just make it that small. 
or even smaller depending on you and make sure you drag this all the way to the end okay now once you're at the end click this plus button to create a keyframe and there you go you have it now slow oh, come on uh, slowly rotate this about 45 50 degrees there like that and just close it and I'm pretty sure you are done there you go it's moving yay uh, yeah so that's pretty much it guys and you can just go ahead and add in text I'm not going to show you that but you can go ahead and add in your text and that's how you make a moving um, uh, this thing I don't know what it's called I guess uh, I don't know so you make this go round and round and round all right sorry I just gotta be carried away so that's how you do it guys hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you if you need anything any help just go ahead and comment I'll reply I'll reply in probably tw in within 24 hours I check YouTube every 10 minutes so yeah I'll see you in the next video uh, that's pretty much it so don't forget to join the pickle station I'll see you in the next video ta-ta bye